We've got our sails down and we're about to head into the southern pass of Fakarava. Uh, there's a boat just in front of us and we're trying to work out who's going to pass who. I suspect we're going to pass them and then we'll get ready for the pass. Uh, we're on the southern part of Fakarava. I can't recall the name of the town. Um, Alyssa probably knows. Don't know. No, she doesn't know either. It's just a cute little uh, palm fringed village. Uh, lots of little huts where it looks like people come here and spend a week diving the pass. Uh, hmm. The Atoll of Fakarava is a UNESCO listed biosphere reserve which means that there's some pretty incredible wildlife here and the main thing that people do in the south in the south of Fakarava is to snorkel and dive the pass so we did that quite a few times. The snorkeling there is easily the best we've, we've seen anywhere in the world. It's absolutely spectacular. It's like being in, a, in an aquarium, crystal clear waters, brilliant fish of every colour, lots of sharks, there's hundreds of reef sharks that live in the, in the lagoon amazing experience being able to snorkel in the pass and Chris got to practice his free diving so he did a lot of diving down to the bottom which was around sort of 15 20 meters he's getting quite good at that our first trailing experience inside an atoll. We're going from South Fakarava up to the northern part of the atoll. 
and it's great sailing. We're chugging along at six and a half, seven knots. And we're inside a shipping channel, which apparently means we don't have to worry about bombies, but we're still keeping a lookout. Just had a cheeseburger. It was very, very tasty. Some garlic butter was a, a highlight. I haven't had any junk food like this for so long and I'm quite satisfied. We've come to Rota Ava, which is in the north of Bakarava, to basically get Chris a cheeseburger. And tomorrow we leave for the next Atta, which is called Toao, which we had recommended by a number of people and we are ready to move on, I think. Ready to go into a food coma. Ready to see Toao tomorrow. Where are we going? To 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 our ta 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 au. I'm to our. I thought it's to au. To our. Yeah, well that's where we're going. What have you say? See you later, Fakarava. Thanks for not taking our anchor. new friends. The dinner for tonight. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm tonight. getting a little used to it. Yeah. Uh, Tell me your, your I don't know if he's fish. got a good side, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he has. He tried to get away from oh, me. Oh, that's a better that's side. A better and side. I actually shoved my hand in that hole to try and hang on to him. Oh, look at that. Wow. They still hold like the colour. at a place um, that's owned by a guy called Wallace and Wallace is not here unfortunately he had to rush off yesterday from what I've heard. This tour is somewhat second-hand I got it from other cruisers. These turtles are being um, just kept until they grow a bit bigger and then Wallace is going to release them. Pigs are here. 
work out what the big holes are and my best guess is that they're trying to find coconut crabs and they're stomping on them. That's why every now and then you find these massive holes where they've just been, see all these footprints, pig prints, trotter prints. But we haven't found the pigs yet. No, we'll find them. After a few weeks of benign weather in the Tuamotus, we finally had some strong winds head our way. So we've moved down to South Toal. We've been for the last few days waiting for the strong winds and swell to clear before we head to Papayete. We've been spending our time in Toal doing some snorkeling around the bommies. Chris has been learning to spearfish and we've been doing walks on the beach and hanging out with a very cute family of piglets that live there. Where's your little piglets, mate? We have a very kind neighbour who is lending me some scuba gear, um, which I'm about to use to clean the bottom of our boat. Uh, so the waterline's clear, but we've got a bit of growth on our keels and basically the areas that were difficult to reach while I was snorkeling. I cooked up a gourmet meal of rice in beef stock, carrot and onion. Oh, yeah. I could put uh, our little table out over there. We could just carry this one. How can I make beans and rice taste different? Is this yes. Iron Chef? Or? <laughs> There's that as no, it's well. Boat Chef. Boat Chef. So, Drinks with oh, pigs. Compared to the burner ones. <laughs> Not everyone so, here, of course. And cats? Oh, you! Oh, you cute little cat and the dog, which we're not friends with anymore. <laughs> you didn't like my food. Spear fishing take one, Liam. <laughs> Toao has been a fantastic end to our time in the Tuamotus. Sadly it couldn't be longer but it is time to move on and hopefully one day we'll be able to come back to this beautiful place.